Greetings, Knights of YouTube. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome back to our Hammer and Anvil series here in the Realm of Thrones mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. And what a beautiful, wonderful mod it is. Now, we are officially on day 60 of our adventure, which means we have 74 days, 74 painstaking days of combat and battle and warfare until the prompt arrives that says that the dark magic of Stannis Baratheon now threatens the life of our king. And we will not have it, lads. We have 74 days uh, to gain our strength until we can uh, officially stop Stannis Baratheon ourselves. I don't know if executing him will uh, fix it, like before the prompt arrives, or if I have to wait until after the prompt arrives. Honestly, I have no idea. So, <laughs> we have to we have to wait 74 in-game days to find out, lads. Now, for the next 74 days, the goal is clear. We need to... Oh, we are um, much closer than I thought we were. Um, we do need to reach Clan Tier 2 so we can become a vassal. And then once we are a vassal, we can get more companions and we can create more parties. Those parties we will then add to our own army. And we will be able to take on Stannis Baratheon wherever he is. Whatever military strength he has left, wherever, whatever castle he remains at, we will be able to take his ass down. And we will make that shit happen. So, Clan Tier 2, uh, I would very much like for us to find a uh, better two-handed sledgehammer. Uh, preferably, you know, the one that all of my troops are using. And then obviously to gain some more companions. And if you missed it from the uh, the ending of last episode, we did in fact change our newest companion already. We named him after one of our newer subscribers. This is uh, Jeremy of House Steed, our steward of steeds, if you will. And he is a uh, he is a brilliant uh, brilliant quartermaster and uh, indeed with 152 stewardship skills, pretty impressive. And as well, our final task officially is to try and. Uh, get ourselves married and hopefully start to have kids i would very much like for our bloodline to continue that way if uh lord stefan of house tana does in fact fall on the field of battle his uh his dynasty and his legacy is secure now when it comes to potential marriage prospects obviously sandy of house baratheon has been our uh, our obvious choice as she's the one that we've been pursuing for the longest time but the only reason we've been pursuing her is for the name of Renly Baratheon and, of course, for her stewardship skill, which is now uh, rendered kind of obsolete now that we have our steward of steeds and uh, and his 150 plus stewardship skill. So I was on the hunt, kind of just looking for other potential brides to be, and I came across one Veronica Whitehead of House Whitehead. A noble family of the Stormland, she has the reputation of being thoroughly conventional, essentially meaning that she, uh, what you see is what you get, and she's very, like, forthcoming, very forward, just like, yes, what you see is what you get, <laughs> like, that's it. Uh, and her, her skills actually are pretty impressive, she would be one hell of a commander, I think, uh, for sure. Definitely one hell of a warrior to have with us, especially as the, uh, the marcher culture of the Stormlands and everything like that. So, uh, the goal is to try and, uh, and woo the Lady Veronica Whitehead. So let us send a raven real quick, just because we have the time, and we shall, uh, we shall wait around for her here at Storm's End. That came kind of fast. So, three days passed by in that amount of time? Oh god. Well, good day to you. So, who might you be? My name is Lord Stefan, madam, of House Tana. May I ask yours? I am Veronica of House Whitehead. Ah, I have heard of your name. People speak of your deeds. It is good to finally meet you. Uh, my lady, there is something I wish to discuss. Uh, I wish to profess myself your most ardent admirer. I have come to love you from afar. Yes, we are considering offers. These things are not rushed into. Uh... My lady, perhaps you and I, dot, dot, dot. I think you would need to rise considerably in the world. <laughs> she said, you're too broke for me, boy. Uh, we will meet from time to time as is the custom. Yeah, okay. Damn it. All right, so definitely, definitely need to rise ourselves up to the rank of uh, a vassal, unfortunately, before we try and woo the Lady Veronica. 
The only reason I'm going for Veronica instead of Sandy now is just because of her stats. I feel like her stats are going to help us out a little bit more, you know? Do I want to do this tournament? I feel like doing a tournament will, uh, you know, will kind of help push me over the top. It'll give me a horse for it, too. Yeah, I might as well. The war is not going anywhere, lads. We will be fighting for quite, quite some time. All right, lads. We've got Courtney Penrose here. Balen Swan. Not bad. Lagatha Stain. Renly Baratheon himself. Sir Jeremy Steed. Andrew of the Night's Watch. That's amazing. What a what a full, yeah, what a full roster. All right. Oh, please do not put me in a joust. Oh, thank God. I was about to say I'm not I'm not much of a, uh, a horseman, unfortunately. Come on, you bastard! There we go. Very nice. God, we look so good in our new armor, dude. I love it. Aw, oh, no way. King Renly was already knocked out of the, the tourney. That sucks. Yeah, that's quite sad. All right. Come along, Stormland Squire. Yeah, fall to me, Squire. Ooh. Damn. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Come on, me and Courtney Penrose. I'll please make it uh, me and Sir Jeremy Steed. That'd be amazing. If I can kill his horse. This horse of his has so much health. Like, that's crazy. There we go. Sorry, horsey. Alright, let's get some distance on him. There we go, come on. Maybe we're a little better at being a horseman than we thought, you know? <laughs> but I, I feel like we only got this way because of all the tournaments we've done, you know? Damn it. There we go, very nice. And we are in the finale with uh, Eamon Estimon, that's right. Come along, Lord Eamon. Oh, two-handed weapons. Let's go, baby. This is my expertise. Oh, one shot. No way. I hereby dedicate this win to the Lady Victoria of House Whitehead. I know that does absolutely nothing, but the roleplay is there, lads. <laughs> Trying to woo the Lady Victoria of House Whitehead. Very nice. We got a King's Destrier worth 15,000 dinars. Golden dragons, if you will. Yeah, we don't really have uh, any other sledgehammer options here. Which is unfortunate. And no crossbows still either. Also unfortunate. But alas, I'm sure something will pop up somewhere. Tarth Militia. That looks pretty good. I can't even lie. That does look pretty good. I just don't like how the colors don't match up with my house. That's all. That's the only thing.
Maybe we could give this to a Sir Jeremy Steed. Yeah, there you go, lad. Get you some, some proper armor. We can make that happen for you. Alright, lads. Not bad. Balin Swan. King Renly Baratheon. I love that. Alright, I think we have room for a couple more uh, units in our party. Yeah, we're losing some money, but that's alright. Yeah, we can get six more men. Have room for one more. Perfect. Now let us be away, lads. The war is a uh, is afoot, and I would like for us to go out and take the fight to uh, the false king Stannis and his military and his armies. Cut down his uh, his false lords. Damn, Stone Dance was taken by the uh, the Blackwoods. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right, we go to Sharp Point and we help the Lord. Matthew Mertens. Perhaps we'll just wait around for now. Very nice. Yeah, we'll just wait around until he's ready to start the uh, the siege battle. There's not another city around here, is there? Yeah, the closest one here is obviously uh, Evenfall Hall, Storm's End, Tumbleton, King's Landing, Dragonstone, and Hull. Which, you know, doesn't do us any fucking good here. Oh, oh, who's that? Mariah Seaworth. Oh. Wallace Massey. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say that other army is on its way. We need to start to cut them off a little bit at a time. Uh, Mariah Seaworth. Wife of Sir Davos and the mother of his seven sons. But it says her... Uh, spouse is Salador San, and her son is Thoron. I don't know how to feel about this one, but alas, uh, we're gonna fight her, lads. It is good to finally meet you. Uh, you wanna fight? Yeah, we're gonna fight. Very nice. We attack. Once again, we're picking a fight on uh, House Seaworth of Dragonstone. Do I feel bad about it? Kind of. But it's not going to stop me either. Everything I do, the good and the bad, is all for the uh, the glory of good King Renly Baratheon. Now, I don't know if they're going to charge out at us. I kind of doubt it. But uh, I would like to prepare a defensive measure just in case. Because you never know. I don't have... Yeah, I don't have any cavalry, which is fine. Yeah, it looks like they're going to rush out at us anyway. Yeah, look at all the- oh my god, they look so good. Uh, all our uh, elite blacksmiths. Yeah, apprentice tanners in the back. Oh yeah, they come rushing right out at us. Stand apart, my archers. Ooh, right in the shoot- <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, here comes her 55 men. Take him down, rangers. Ah, oh, damn. I thought I could kill his horse. Imagine killing his horse with one swing. Ah, oh, damn. Look at them. Look at them come. I want my men to start throwing weapons at him. Hiya! Oh, let's go, dude. Oh, my God. We're unstoppable. Kill them all, lads. Oh, they're on, they're on the back burner already. They flee. I killed two of them with one swing. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, we'll wait for the uh, the rider to come back. Is he gonna come back? He might not. Look at the mad lads charging forward though. That's crazy. Yeah, they're they're re they're picking up more of their throwing weapons. Get them, lads! Ah, oh. damn. Ah, oh. good shit, boys. Damn, that was crazy. Oh. The banner looks so good, man. I can't. 
this is one of my favorite factions so far. We've done so many faction builds in, uh, in Bannerlord just on this YouTube channel, but this one's got to be one of my favorites. Like, 100% it is. Didn't lose a single man. I feel bad. They, they had a, a lot of uh, Dragonstone recruits, that's why. And this is exactly what I said was going to happen last episode. A lot of these lords, they're going to go out and they're going to start recruiting like these low tier troops because that's all they have. And they can't win any like battles to level them up. So what's going to happen is we're just going to end up mopping the floor with all these really low tier troops and armies and parties and everything. It's kind of sad, you know, but it is what it is. These villagers are nearby. She's got 157 infantry. It's just her and one other person. Yeah, Jaisala. And then Wallace Massey is bringing up the rear. Yeah, I'm going to dip on out of here. Yeah, look at that. There we go. We caught him. Bach. He's got one more man than us, but look at that balance of power, dude. It's awful. Bach. He's a, oh, he's a mercenary. Mercenary fighting for Dragonstone. The Brave Companions. Lovely. Holt, who are you? I'm Lord Stefan of House Tanner. And who are you? I am Bach. I am afraid I have to consider you my enemy. Uh, ch ch wait of your word. I've got you cornered. Yield or we shall attack. My guy, what? Let us settle this according to the old ways. I challenge you to a duel. I see. And what are your terms? I expect you to allow us safe passage. What? No. I don't want safe passage. I literally can wipe the floor with this guy. Begin the duel. Whatever, dude. I don't care. Maybe I'll just attack his army anyway. He came straight at us. Like, that's interesting to me. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's what you get. That was crazy. That was the most explosive laughter I've ever done in my life. <laughs> that was that moment right there. That one's mental picture. That one's going in the memory vault. I will keep that memory with me until I die. <laughs> oh, man. That was good. What if I go to battle? Yeah, see, look. like it's, It says he... You got us outnumbered. Like, what are you doing, dude? We attack. Try again. Try it with somebody else, fool. There is no military. There is no force. There is no lord or army that can stand in my way of honorable service to my king, to my chosen king. Come at me with everything you have, and I promise you it shall not be enough. So here's what's gonna happen. Yeah, they're gonna come archers! right at us. How foolish. I want my archers covering Move! this entire ridge. Infantry! And honestly, I, I like this infantry formation right here. God, they look so good, man. They look so good. Yeah, they're gonna come right at us. Boom! Stand apart! Yeah. Look at Sir Jeremy Steed, yes! Oh my man. I'm so proud of how far you've come, dear brother. Here they come, boys. Ready yourselves. Soldiers! Forward! Infantry! Javelins ready, lads. They've got a good shield wall formation. But I don't think it'll be enough. Okay. Let me not waste my ammunition either, though. Fire at will, lads. Take him down. Come on. They pull their archers forward foolishly, lads. There we go. There we go. Damn. Infantry! Move! Yo, 
I want them showing their backs to my uh Go on lads. I want them showing their backs to my archers. Come on, brothers. Ooh, the Bravosi. Ooh, that's a big, scary looking sword. Kill the bastards all, lads. That was crazy. Come on, take him down, lads. There we go. Very nicely fought, lads. Damn, I got a, a javelin to, like, under the arm. That fucking hurts, man. I did lose three men. Three of my hammermen gave their lives in this fight. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Not bad, lads. Two victories under the belt. Let's see if we can't keep that streak going for us, you know? I yield. Grant me the honors of war. And do yourself credit. Ah, you are my prisoner now. Little mercenary man. 68 level ups. Insane. Damn, they have so many men. They're gonna attack as soon as the, uh... The army's low. That's what sucks. Damn, there's still 227 defenders. Yeah, I think they're going to lose this fight at a sharp point. Yeah, especially if that, that army goes in there. Yeah. Yeah, there was. I don't think there was anything I could have done, honestly, to turn that 400, even with my 80 men... We're still short by 100 men. That's going to be kind of tough. Yeah, and it's because the, uh, the castle sallied out as well. Damn, that's tough. Yeah, Selwyn Tarth, Robert Whitehead, Elvin Estemont, Henry uh, Errol, Ilaria Dane... Matthew Mertens were all taken prisoner. Oh, so Davos Seaworth himself. Run it, Connington, yes! Oh, hell yeah, dude. Lord Davos Seaworth. That's close enough. Who are you? I am uh, I am Lord Stefan of House Tanner. And who might you be? I am Davos Seaworth of House Seaworth. Uh, you are a man of valor. I challenge you to a duel. I expect you to surrender. Nice. So we're going to fight. Begin the duel. And I've got the army of uh, of uh, House Connington as well at my back, which isn't bad. Damn. Ooh. Nice. Sorry, Sir Davos. Sorry it had to happen. But alas, here we are, lads. Captured the enemy. Yeah, 18 prisoners. Very nice. I couldn't take any of them. I took two of them. <laughs> that's awful. All right. That's fine. I'll take this Dragonstone Knight. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps resetting my... Uh... There we go. Yeah, because I, I want all the high-tier troops, you know? Oh, I can get 113 men now. Which means we've officially made it to uh, Clan Tier 2. Thank God. The old gods and the new. Whew. Don't go patrolling around Stormwind, please. Tormo's party. Ah, no, come back, you fucking bastards. Traveling to Hull. Come here. Yeah, that's what I thought. What are they all doing? Adrian Keltiga, Tormo. Renly Baratheon created an army. I'm kind of stuck in enemy territory right now with enemies on two sides. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, I was not paying attention to that. His speed is 4.9, mine is 4.1. My best bet is probably to try and go around this way and juke his ass out. And try and, like, escape into the mainland. Because he's just going to keep patrolling. You fool, Ronit. God damn you, Lord Ronit. Alright. Uh, yeah. Let's try this. Because Justin Massey... Yeah. Bach has escaped. Yeah, that army is still very close behind us. Run, Titos, run! 
Balen Swan, my lord. All right, here's what's gonna happen. Hold on. Oh, did I say Victoria Whitehead at the uh, at the tournament? I meant Veronica, obviously Veronica. Uh, but now that we uh oh, we're not a vassal yet. Damn, that's right. I forgot about that. Um, so where is ah my lord, my king, my liege, Renly Baratheon? Let us be away. Run, it's Connington. No, turn away, my lords. Turn away. Yeah, they come. Talk to the army leader. My friend, it's been a while. Congratulations on your victory in that tournament in Storm's End. Thank you, your grace. Um, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Um, my lord, I wish to be more than a mercenary. Is there a way I can pledge myself as a vassal? You are known as a brave warrior and a fine leader of men, Stefan. I shall be pleased to accept your sword into my service, if you are ready to swear homage to me. I am ready, your grace. Good. Then repeat the words of the oath with me. I swear homage to you as the lawful king of the seven kingdoms. I will be your loyal man as long as my breath remains. And I will be at your side to fight your enemies, should you need my sword. And I shall defend your rights and the rights of your legitimate heirs. In exchange for your loyalty, I offer you the command of some of my best men. And in recognition of your worth, let me present you with this gift, which I hope will serve you well on the battlefield. Thank you, your grace. Yeah, I'm going to take all of these lads now that I can actually, you know, have lads. Very cool. Off. Oh, yes. How did I not know that this was going to be the prize? How did I, how did I ever like doubt, you know, how, how could I have? Ah, oh, that's amazing. 85, 85 speed and 80 blunt. This is 86 speed, but 148 blunt. Length is 120. Handling is 74. Nice. Yeah, it's literally better in every possible way, dude. I love that. Ah, oh, amazing. Amazing. Let it be known that you are one of us. We shall defend your rights as you defend ours. You may be granted lands in our domains and the authority to judge disputes. You have done a wise thing, Stefan. Serve me well and I promise you will rise high. Thank you, your grace. I have great hopes for you, Stefan. I know you shall prove yourself worthy of the trust I have placed in you. Is there anything else? Let me see if he'll accept it. He's close to accepting it, but I don't want to... I must leave now, I'm sorry. Alright, so we now we are now officially a, uh, a vassal of the Stormlands. Come on, lads, we close in on them, yes! Oh, this is going to be massive. Help run it, Connington's army. 1,300 men crashing down on Jace, Jace Lea, Jace Lea Valarian, Vargo Holt, Tormo, Eustace Brune, Andrew Estermont. Andrew Estermont. And Wallace Massey. Yeah, we attack, lads. Mm. Our very first battle as an official vassal of the Stormlands. But before we jump into this fight, lads, I am going to leave this episode off here. That's right, I got your ass. That's right, lads, I am leaving you on a cliffhanger, which means you have no choice but to come back for the next episode in order to see the actual battle. <laughs> But alas, here we are, finally an official Lord of the Stormlands, and now the uh, the title of the Storm Lord is ours. We are now the Storm Lord of the Stormlands and the righteous vassal of King Renly, the rightful king of Westeros. But until the next episode, lads, always remember honor and service, glory and sacrifice, and I, your Storm Lord, will see you in the battle ahead. Goodbye, my friends.